Welcome to this light language energy healing session. My name is Cami, and this is Cami's Fluid Energy Healing Arts. On this very stormy day, we are doing a light language energy healing session. If you would like to schedule your own session, you can check out the links below in the description, and you can join us on Discord. Let's get started. So we're coming into center now using the bowl as we always do. We're gonna draw in three deep breaths. The first one goes down and connects us to the planet. The second up through the crown and connects us to source. And the final breath goes out as kind of a gold figure eight to connect our energy for this session. First deep breath coming in through the back of the heart space now. Allowing that to fill up through the body. that down through our base chakra, connecting us deeply into Mama Gaia now. Next breath, coming in through the back of the heart space, allowing that to fill up through the body. And then we're going to release that up through our crown chakra, connecting us to Creator Source now. Last breath. Coming in through the back of the heart space now, as white Reiki light, allowing that to fill up through the body. And then we're going to send that to each other in a golden figure eight, connecting our energy now. At this time, we would like to invite in all of our guides, healed loved ones, family that chooses to join us at this time. Any nature spirits, animal spirits, elemental spirits, any ascended masters or angelic essences that we're working with at this time. Beginning in the throat space, strong activation in the throat space. Into the heart space. Let's clearing some things here. Into the solar plexus, so we're going to do some balancing in the solar plexus space now. Into the sacral space now. Come on, to your share up your sin, tire on the tear sun. I care up your suit to your seer and tear sun. Ill up your son. A lot of good flow in through the sacral. 
actually going to bring the rattle into the base. Just move some energy there. That's a lot more open now. So what I was seeing initially looked something like a trap door. It was kind of a heavy, um, looked like a very uh, dark metal door in the earth. So we brought the rattle in and we just moved some energy around and now it looks more like a well. So nicely open deep down into the earth. Connecting with that water inside the planet. Drawing that up into the body now. Kind of like a refreshing wellspring coming up now. Nice connection with this crown, very open. A lot of electric sparking feelings up here right now. Some activations happening for you now. I'm seeing some different keys and codes being activated in your aura, as well as in the body space. So I'm being shown So I'm being shown um, what I was looking at was like a black rod on a gate, like a fence and a gate. And um, the side that I'm standing on appears to be a very well manicured um, like lawn space. But just on the other side of the fencing is this beautiful, beautiful forest space. And there's a clearly marked path on the other side of this gate. So the gate has opened for us, and we're going to walk through this gate and onto this path now. Something that was not visible before, but is visible now. Aware that you're having some activation in your visual senses. Um, what they're showing me is almost like a uh, fine-tuning, like a long lens on a on a film camera, where you're kind of um, adjusting in and focusing. 
So as we're stepping through this gate and walking into this forest space, we're just moving along this path. It's a nice, clear, open path. So as we're walking through this forest space, I am aware of all of the life that is around us. There are an awful lot of forest creatures which are present and kind of moving along the sides of the path with us as we move forward along this path. And as I'm looking down this path, I'm seeing a really beautiful, vibrant light at the end of the path, but there's something in front of it. So as we're walking closer, this thing that is in front of the light kind of looks like um, an arched, um, what do you want to call this? It's not quite a trellis. It's, um, it's a structure that's built, but it's kind of in an arch shape. It's made out of wood, very ornately fabricated, like there's a lot of um, ornate design in, in these wood pieces. So, we're being asked to sit in this space underneath of this archway now. So we are going to take a seat now. So we're being joined by two beings right now. One is presenting in a very gold light body, and the other is presenting in a very silvery light body. So these two um, beings, are in this space with us. And they're kind of standing over top of us. Like hands gently over the shoulders. So these are particularly tall, slender, elegant looking beings. And both are wearing um, what appears to be kind of a fabric, but it's very etheric. It's very changeable. Almost appears atmospheric, if that makes any sense. Getting a lot of um, activation in through the third eye space now. Okay, so this is really interesting. Um, so the being that is um, the silver light body is standing behind you, and this being has placed a silver crown on your head. It's just a very thin banded crown, and it's going around your head, across the third eye. And as this being steps back, the gold being steps forward with an additional crown and places that on top of the silver one. This one is gold and has some extensions coming from the top of it. Very delicate metalwork coming up from the top of this crown, but it sets perfectly on top of the silver one. Your entire aura is a white light now. You're literally glowing with white light. 
de la visita de Shomokosu en Paiserabia Estiti y con su presente ya san y la mía todo el otro su está paiserabia Arabia san y la vía Arabia san que Shum está Arabia san. So they're speaking um, some blessings over top of you now. Su masia paia san que era oso. Esta mía te era poco un fuiche la mía te era su costru. And so as I'm looking at you now, I'm noticing that you have what appears to be um, like a cape or like a, a robe, and I want to say more like a royal robe. Um, the top of it is covered with like um, a white fur that has like black spots, but then the cape itself is kind of an orangey red um, it's a, a heavier textile, but it's that very orange side of red. And we're just sitting across from each other, and you're just wearing this with these two beautiful crowns. So this structure that we sat underneath, this kind of archway, is now beginning to glow along with your aura. Your aura and this structure are glowing this really beautiful white light. We've had a lot of blue sparking energy enter this space. This is a very strong manifesting energy. Often I associate this with the Archangel Michael. And with that, I'm feeling the lightest, most beautiful light little raindrops that are just kind of coming through this archway that we're sitting under. I don't see it outside of the archway, just where we are. And it's just the lightest little drips, drops of water. They just look like almost crystalline little gems just falling all across the body. And with that, the entire space became this beautiful white, kind of a billowing, cloudy. And we're both just encapsulated in this beautiful white divine energy. This white billowing energy kind of calms down and settles all on the ground. This reminds me of like a dry ice along the ground. Both of these beings have gone to the um, 
front where we entered and they have they're standing side by side it's really beautiful their energy and they've brought their hands up in kind of a prayer position in front of the heart mm -hmm. lightly bowed their heads and as they step out of the space they simply are gone so at this time we're going to stand so that was really beautiful as you stood up these crowns and this cape or, or robe just kind of became part of you like you internalize them as we step out of the structure and we continue back along the path from which we came there are countless forest creatures that are all around the path as we're moving along the path they're just kind of sitting there and you can feel all this wonderful love and unity and peace just all these different kinds of forest creatures together as one and so as we're coming near to the end of the path now this wrought iron gate is now white and as I'm looking through across to the other side, so what I was seeing when we came through was this beautiful kind of manicured lawn or field space. But as I'm looking at it now, as I'm looking this direction, I'm seeing this enormous, beautiful castle. Surrounded by beautiful gardens. This is just a magnificent looking place. And with that little glimpse, we are now encapsulated in this white energy again. And I feel myself being brought right back into the space where we began. So just breathe into the space where you are now, where your body is physically. And send that energy down into the planet. Another deep breath. Grounding into the space where we are. And one more time. I'm going to bring the bowl back in. And at this time, we would like to say thank you to those beings that were here and assisted us today. On this beautiful journey, we thank you for the gifts that were received and incorporated. And with all gratitude and love, we release you now and we say, We thank you, we thank you. We thank you, and we thank you. Family, thank you for choosing to spend your time here with us today. I truly appreciate your presence and your energy here in this healing session. If you would like to schedule a session, you can check out the links below in the description. If this message resonated with you, I encourage you to like and subscribe so that you can be notified when our content posts here on YouTube. 
I also encourage you to join us on Discord and our Patreon. Right now we have several videos that are available to view on Discord, but not yet here on YouTube. Okay? Discord is where we hold all of our live sessions, like our second Saturday group live sessions, which are completely free, as well as our one-on-one -on -one sessions, like you're viewing today. Much love to you. Many blessings. Namaste.